I have a final goodbye for a wife and mother attacked with a hammer. This all happened last month in Grant County. She died Friday, though, and is being laid to rest right now. Tonight, we've learned the man accused of the attack will soon face a murder charge. Evan Millward is in Dry Ridge with the reaction from one of the woman's friends. Kim Montgomery's friends tell me she had a relentless optimism. Hers was the first face students here at Dry Ridge Elementary saw every morning. Kim Montgomery was a food service worker here. Her colleagues describe her as an encourager, always engaging the kids in song and giving hugs and kisses with her signature Mary Kay purple lipstick. And we know that God calls us everything to work together for the good of those who love the Lord and called according to his purpose for them. Romans 828. It's what Carolyn Rouse Horn leans on today. Total shock. She met Montgomery years ago at a boot camp workout she runs. More recently, they were both members of Mount Olivet Christian Church. You have to question sometimes why things happen how they do. And when that happens, I just have to rely on my faith and just know he knows better than I know. <laughs> it may never explain why Joey Montgomery, a family member, attacked Kim on September 18th. A childhood friend told me today, though, Montgomery was an organ donor. Within 12 hours of her death, she'd saved three lives, quoting, she lived her life to make sure everything was the best and that continues even after she has passed. Back at church, Rouse Horn will miss her smile and that encouragement the most. How great is it to have someone that you know is always gonna be upbeat, always happy, always encouraging others. She was just that one shining light. One friend today told me what happened to her was quote, evil. Kim Montgomery's funeral is happening right now in Williamstown. As for Joey Montgomery, he is in jail right now, waiting on those upgraded charges. In Dry Ridge, I'm Evan Millwood, nine on your side. And Joey Montgomery is no stranger to Grant County deputies. Take a look. This video is from our reporting in 2007 when he brought a gun to the jail, demanding to speak to the head jailer and then started a shootout. The deputy shot Montgomery in the leg, but wasn't hurt.